We're all familiar with the sudo command. It's probably in the top 10 most used commands on your system. And I'd say most people that are using it, especially in the Linux desktop world, literally just use it to do things as root when root permissions are needed. Say to install a program or edit a file that's in your Etsy folder. And it's following the same idea as a Windows user that runs an install.exe as an administrator. But sudo is actually a far bigger program with way more options than you may have thought. A quick look at the man page shows us many, many command switches that Linux desktop users never even touch. And if you've ever had to edit your sudoers file in the Etsy folder before, you know that sudo is a much more complicated program than some may think. But there is a simpler, less bloated alternative to sudo. It originated on BSD, but it has since been ported to Linux a few years ago called Duaz. And the idea behind Duaz is to just have a smaller, more user-friendly program to do things as root, which is typically all the desktop users need to do anyway. And if we take a look at the config file for sudo, which is in the Etsy folder. Actually, it's called the sudoers file. We see that there's a whole lot of settings that can be configured here because sudo is meant to manage much more elaborate admin permissions than we would find on a Linux server where different people might have to remote into it and you want those different admins to have different sets of permissions. But all of this is useless and kind of confusing to the Linux novice that just wants to install a piece of software. I've been using Linux for over a decade and even I can't really tell you what all of these lines do. I'm pretty much just familiar with this part here that lets my user run sudo. So in order to get Duaz on your system, you can download it from your package manager, assuming you're on one that has it. It's available in the AUR and these repositories listed here. And it's also available on Gentoo. So whoever runs this web page should probably update it to include that. Um, but to get it on Gentoo, you just want to sudo emerge Duaz. And that'll be one of the last times that you'll have to use uh, sudo. And you'll notice right away as it's emerging that Duaz is going to be a much slimmer program than sudo because it actually emerges. It's able to compile on our system much faster than sudo was. So once Duaz has finished compiling, we're going to need to create a configuration file in our Etsy folder for it, much like we have for sudo over here. And this file is gonna be much smaller and much more straightforward syntax than our sudo file is. So I'm going to vim into etsy duaz.conf. Like I said, you'll have to create this file if you just installed duaz on your system. And you can see this is all you need in order to get Duaz up and running on your system. So if we compare it to this over here, it's obviously much more bloated in comparison and the syntax can be a little bit challenging if you're not familiar with Linux or any type of coding in general. This is just plain English, permit Kenny as root. And now Kenny is able to do as a root user does. So we know that the disk space usage is a lot smaller, but disk space really isn't that vital of a resource in pretty much any computer system, even on a virtual system like this one here. So let's fire up HTOP because I'm gonna do a comparison of the RAM and CPU usage of Duaz versus uh, sudo, because obviously RAM and CPU is much more precious. So. Let's just do an emerge, sudo emerge gedit, and then keep an eye on my memory over here. Keep in mind also that um, the emerge command is probably gonna end up using more RAM than the sudo command and the do as command are. So we're kind of splitting hairs, but it's really just to prove a point.
All right, so it looks like we top out at about 156 megs when we run a sudo emerge gedit. So let's do as emerge gedit. And you see the syntax of it pretty much works the same way, or the operation of it pretty much works the same way. You just give your password. We'll run that. And we top out at 142. So do as, it's a simpler, less resource intensive, I guess you could call it a more suckless version of sudo. It's a whole lot better if you're running Gentoo or Arch, go ahead and download it and try it in your system.